Citizens speak out. People continue to speak out for themselves and fellow citizens as they strive to bring improved living conditions and other basic freedoms in countries such as Bahrain, Egypt, Palestine, Sri Lanka, Syria, and Yemen. In Sri Lanka, thousands of factory workers marched Thursday, June 2nd, to protest the killing of Roshan Chanaka, who was shot by police on Monday during a rally against a new pension plan with unequal benefits for employees. The government has apologized for the incident. As two ministers also spoke out against the police actions. As human rights groups in Egypt estimate that 10,000 citizens have been tried since January in military tribunals rather than civil courts where their rights are more protected, three judges who spoke out against the practice are being investigated by the government for presenting the situation to the media without prior permission. Despite this week's lifting of martial law in Bahrain, there were reports of violent clashes in several towns as citizens participated in marches on Thursday. Government officials have also announced that 47 doctors and nurses will be prosecuted for cooperating with protesters in holding rallies and for providing information to the media. Healthcare workers reject claims of any wrongdoing, saying that they endured several weeks in detention where they were subjected to verbal and physical abuse and made to sign confessions. The Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC, announced Thursday that it would resume efforts suspended on May 22nd to help Yemen reach a peaceful solution. Meanwhile, Russia joined other countries in urging her citizens to leave the country due to continued escalation of violence. According to human rights groups, the Syrian government on Wednesday freed hundreds of an estimated 10,000 detained political prisoners following an amnesty audit issued by President Bashar al-Assad the previous day. Elsewhere, Syrian security forces killed at least 15 citizens in a heavy attack on the town of Rastan, bringing the total fatalities during the week to well over 50. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, meanwhile, urged the international community to unite in response to Syria's violent repression, and minority party members met in Turkey to call for the immediate resignation of President al-Assad. Also on Thursday, United Nations Special Advisers Dr. Francis Deng and Edward Luck made a joint statement expressing their alarm at the Syrian government's brutal crackdown. In a latest attempt to flee conflict-afflicted Libya by sea, a boat carrying African migrants was struck by heavy waters, with over 200 passengers who perished, as some 570 others were able to be rescued. With sorrow and concern for the sacrificed lives and suffering, we continue to pray for the ceasing of conflicts in every nation, so that all people may elect to live in freedom, peace and dignity.